Are you having problems with all that carbon dioxide produced? Or are you losing energy because your natural gas geyser leaves pursues at? Stay with me and I'll show you how to fix these situations. <laughs> Hello my dear duplicants and welcome to how to make things in oxygen not include. Today we are going to talk about gas storage and I'll show you how to infinitely store any kind of gas and how to store the gases left by the machines without it becoming pressurized. First of all, I'll show you how to store gases in a room without pressure limit. We know that the gas vent can empty a piping system extracting the gas to the atmosphere. However, they only allow it up to a limit of ambient pressure. After reaching this limit, they become inactive and the gas isn't expelled from the piping anymore. To store a gas infinitely, we should go around this situation accordingly the following steps. Step number 1. Room design. On this first step, you need to ask your dupes to create a room where you are going to store the gas, with a design I like to this shown in the video. It is important for you to create an airlock at the entrance of this room, so the gas remains in stored in place. If you don't know how to create one, click on the card above, and it will take you to a video where you learn it. Give preference here to the liquid lock. Step number 2. Vacuum stage. After your room is done and properly sealed with an airlock, remove all gases from its interior with a gas pump until it becomes complete vacant. This is necessary because it's important to storage only a kind of gas in each room. So the gas that you are going to work don't mix with an undesirable one. After it, you can deconstruct the pump if you want. Step number 3. Pour liquid. This is the most important step to the storage works correctly. Here, we'll make the gas vent works regardless of the quantity of gas that is in the theater of the room. To do that, we'll ask our dupes to pour some liquid, of your choice, on the floor. Then, we'll build the gas vent above the floor so it becomes submerged in the liquid. After that, we'll mop the liquid until the gas vent isn't over pressurized anymore. But attention, you can't mop our liquid. With that done, as the liquid and gas occupy different tiles, the pressure acting on the gas vent will be the liquid one making it never get over the pressure limit, as the liquid pressure will never change, regardless of the quantity of gas in the room. But there are two recommendations to do this. Don't forget the temperature in the workplace and work with liquids that do support it. So, if you are going to work with gas temperature over 100 degrees, Make sure to use crude oil or other liquids, but don't use water. Also, leave at least two tiles for the liquid to stay in. If there's only one, the liquid may vanish as the gas leaves the vent, rendering the gas storage worthlessness. With that in mind, your gas storage is done and ready to store an infinite amount of gas. If this video helped you, think about leaving your like and subscribe to the channel, so we'll be notified about the next Oni videos. Now, let's talk about storing the gas left by the machines without having it become overpressurized. 
For this, we have to understand that the gas that leaves the machinery usually leaves in a set point in the machine, varying from machine to machine. What we can do about it is to use some liquid, just as in the storage room, so the pressure will be manipulated and the machine will never get pressurized. This can be very useful in machines such as the one for the creation of oxygen. I'll show you how can you make it work and the set point of some machines. The first thing you need to do it is discover where is the right point that the gas is created. To make this, utilize the sandbox mode and put the machine in a room with vacant and carefully analyze the machine. After that, create tiles around the machine and pour some liquid over the machine. In this case, because the point is two tiles above the floor, we need to use two different liquids to make it right. Make sure to pour just a little, so the machine don't be submerged. So, build an airflow tile to the gas flow, and after that, able the machine. Now it's done! In this example, the chlorine will be locked in these two tiles, doesn't matter how much gas is inside. Now, I'll show you other machines work like that. Thanks for watching until here, see you next time!